So, as wrestling fans, we have been preparing for this moment for quite some weeks now. As tempers have began to boil over between Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, and after how things had ended on last week's episode of Monday Night Raw, and how the tempers were at the absolute high, and they were throwing verbal jabs at each other, cutting deep, telling each other that they weren't good enough, and that Kofi said uh, Woods was never good enough to be a singles champion, and Woods saying that he's the reason that Kofi won, and then he flushed down the toilet in less than nine seconds to Brock Lesnar. In, in this segment, man, we, we were mentally prepared for the split to either be Kofi turning heel or Woods turning heel, and we were getting ourselves mentally prepared for t uh, last night, and we knew that at some point in time, Big E would show up, but that the fact that we up front didn't know if he was clear to take any bumps or not had already checked out the fact in our mind that he would take any bumps, but that he would try to be the peacemaker to bring the, the brothers back together, to make the New Day whole once again, and we, we were swerved. We were swerved tremendously. I don't think anyone expected what we got last night to be the outcome that we got, and I want to talk about it. So, pretty much to boil it down, Kofi and Woods were telling Big E that they that he left them, that pretty much he betrayed him at them, that he dishonored their trust, that he went and he was more worried about his desk job and his new girlfriend, and that he broke his neck but didn't need surgery, and Woods needed surgery when he tore his Achilles off the bone, but he still came back nine months for them, and that Big E didn't do the same endeavors on the other end, and that's pretty much the point that they were driving home. And emotionally, it was a very um, cinematic experience because you could tell that the emotions were flaring because these guys have been together for forever. The New Day Rock has been a staple in WWE for quite some years now, 10 years to be exact, and for them to pick this pushing point was kind of, it caught us all off guard. And if you think, if you could sit there and say that you thought that this is what was going to happen, I would call you a liar. Because we all thought that it was going to be either Woods turning on Kofi or Kofi turning on Woods. That's just what we expected based on how they were driving the story. And now that they're kicking E out, one, what is going to be the new name? Are they going to still go by the New Day? What is going to happen going forward with Kofi and Xavier now that they freaking... Uh, banished Big E from the faction, from this brotherhood that we've all come to know and love over the last 10 years. And then we get this spot here where they shake hands in the most weird way. It just, I don't know, it seems kind of rushed. Kofi never really gives off heel vibes just based on his persona and his facial expressions. Woods has embodied this whole heel persona in his actions, his mannerisms, his facial expressions, and it has really taken over his character, and I have enjoyed it in its totality, but this little handshake thing here was just kind of weird, it kind of felt forced, and I didn't really enjoy it, and it really leads me to wonder what, what is next for these guys going forward, we're left with this, of them standing there like two bad guys, no, co no colors in their uh, outfits, black and white, the grays, real heel, heel personified color scheme and now what is next are they going to be new heels on raw are they going to accept this as their new personas as heel characters what is next for big e is was he cleared has he been cleared will he ever get clear it just leaves a lot of questions on the table and i, I enjoyed it i give it five stars because they set us up to believe it was going to be either Woods turning on Kofi or Kofi turning on Woods. And it wasn't that in the end. Which kind of sucks because they led us to believe that. And I've wanted to see Xavier Woods have his own singles run for the longest time. Just like Jey Uso. But this gives us a new look at these two guys going forward as two heel characters who just kick their brother out of a faction that they have been running together for the last 10 years even though he broke his neck and that's the reason he's been gone from the faction for as long as he's been gone it it was it left a very I don't want really to say a sour taste but it was bittersweet because it's it's different it's different you never hear Kofi or Xavier talk to E like this and we've never heard Kofi talk to Xavier the way we heard them talk to each other last week but that's just my take on it right now I'm very intrigued on what's going to happen going forward let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Until next time.